I am so excited to be here with you, Joy. So, Joy, you just got into medical school. You'll be starting next month. Mm -hmm. I'm very, very excited for you there. Um, I'd love to start by asking, how did you get interested in medicine? Sure. So my interest in medicine actually began through my grandfather. He was a volunteer EMT when I was growing up, and I remember seeing him go out the door for ambulance calls and thought it was really cool. And so then when I was in high school, somebody, some friends of mine were taking EMT class and asked if I'd like to join them for this EMT class. So I did and fell in love with the medical field and caring for patients and just what we could do there, helping in hard situations and chaotic situations. We could come and we could provide a solution and give help. So I really enjoyed that and went through paramedic school then shortly after and worked as a paramedic for a while and realized that through some travel to other countries where I worked in some underserved areas, I realized that I could do um, could help my patients like to a point as a paramedic, but there was a lot that I couldn't do. And so I decided I would like a lot more um, medical training. And so I came back from some overseas work and um, applied to a pre-med program and started this so that I could build up a lot more skills than I had already in medicine. That's great. And how did Sattler prepare you to get into medical school? Sattler, I would say, prepared me in several ways. Um, for specifically getting into medical school, I feel like they had a really well laid out pre-med program. And I definitely realized when I was applying for medical school, there were a lot of classes and a lot of requirements for many of the medical schools. And I met all of them. I did not have any issues with um, the classes that I had taken not being what I needed for medical school. So that was really helpful um, because I didn't have to go take some summer classes and things like that for my application. So the pre-med program itself was perfectly set up for what I needed for medical schools. Um, and then in light of preparing me, actually preparing me for medical school, I think I just learned a lot about good study habits. Um, I was recently watching a video about preparing for medical school and some study habits that they suggest you have in place. And I realized that Sattler had already taught me all of those study habits, um, things like deep work study and also um, using Anki and a couple of different things like that. And so I was surprised and happy to find that um, some of these study things that will help me a lot in medical school, I already had learned through Sattler. So let's say you're talking to someone who is in high school, just graduating high school, or maybe they're a non-traditional prospective student mm -hmm. who's been out for several years. Mm -hmm. What advice would you give someone like that who's thinking about going into medicine and potentially applying to Sattler? Mm -hmm. I think um, one thing that I would say, probably the, the biggest thing is that this is going to be a long journey. This is going to be a lot of work and a lot of steps. And I'm like on my way, but I'm not even halfway yet to be being completely finished as a doctor. And so I think just preparing yourself for that, that like, you know what you want to do this for and having a good thing in your mind for why you're doing this and a good, a really a good why as to what you're doing this for. Um, and why you're doing this will help a lot. And then just buckling down and knowing that it's going to be a long journey. But apart from that, I would say a really big thing that has been helpful for me again and again is learning to trust God in the journey and trust him and his guiding. It can get really hard. It got really hard numerous times in school to um, keep the, the far off picture of medical mm -hmm. school in mind when you're trying to decide if you should spend an evening with your church family or if you should be studying and if you should spend an evening going out doing evangelism versus like studying for an exam that's coming up. And so there was numerous times where I had to learn to trust that like I'm just going to make a decision with what I know now and make the best decision I can and trust that God will continue to guide and lead and provide as he needs to. And that's probably one of the biggest things that I could say is just learn to trust and, and know why you're doing this exactly. That's great. One of the things that people sometimes struggle with as they're going through, as you said, this long journey mm -hmm. of four years of college, four years of medical school, then residency, is... They, they treat it as, oh, I just have to sort of grip my teeth and get through all this mm -hmm. so I can get to something at the end. One of the things that, that I think can help a lot is finding joy in your studies now mm -hmm. and seeing 
what you're doing now in immunology class or human pathophysiology or chemistry or what have you as as not necessarily something to grit your teeth through mm -hmm. but something to find delight in god's mm -hmm. creation now i'd be interested to hear your thoughts on that and how you were able to make it through some difficult classes you took mm -hmm. a lot of a lot of hard classes in your years here mm -hmm. and and see it not as time deferred or just something to get through but almost as a worship experience mm -hmm. yeah i i completely agree it is too long and too hard to just just fight your way through it and and hate the whole journey <laughs> like you you need to find i had to find ways to really love and enjoy what i was doing and what i was learning and honestly a really huge thing for sattler was that my classmates i enjoyed being with my classmates so much and we grew very close and often even in hard classes getting to do the classes with them made a big difference um but yes, I think just being, there was many times that I just found myself amazed at just the intricacies that we were studying about and learning. And yeah, a time of worship often happened through just the stuff that we were learning and what we were um, discovering. And I think that's absolutely necessary and needs to happen because it's not worth, I don't think it's worth like forcing yourself to go through these classes that you hate. Mm -hmm. um, you need to come to a place of just loving what you're learning and really enjoying it and um, finding God's handiwork in all of it. That's as right. You go. Yeah. And that's certainly true in medical school as well. Mm -hmm. sure. You had choices to go to other places. You could have gone to other institutions, secular, mm -hmm. et cetera. Why did you choose Sattler? And what's unique about Sattler? that, again, somebody who's considering coming here should know? I specifically chose Sattler because um, I had already been in college when I went through paramedic um, school. I was in college for three semesters for that. And when I started thinking about going back to college again, that experience was definitely on my mind. It was it was a really challenging and um, hard experience, I would say, through college, through that setting of college because I didn't know any other Christians that were there. Um, it was outright um, antagonistic towards faith in mm -hmm. many ways and cases. And my faith was definitely very shaken through those years, through that year there at the college that I attended. And so when I thought about going to college again, that was definitely on my mind. And it felt really important to me to go to a college where my faith was built up and strengthened and where I could explore my faith and explore what I had learned and what I'd known already and then what I believed and um, just really build a solid foundation and with my faith while in college. So that was really on my mind and that was definitely a reason that I chose Sattler. Um, I had looked at various different colleges but ended up choosing Sattler because I felt like it was a place that was going to allow me to do that and was going to build a firm foundation of my faith. And when I thought of going on to medical school then, and for more years after that, plus residency and whatever else comes after that, I wanted to know that I had a very solid grasp of my faith and a very solid foundation. And um, I wanted to have that in undergrad so that when I went on to medical school where there is no options for any type of Christian college right. for medical school, I would be well prepared for it. So that was why I chose Sattler. That, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. You have done a lot of travel. You've done a lot of international work over the years, uh, much more so than many people your age. And I know you're you're contemplating medical missions and working abroad eventually. And I and I realize that this question is somewhat forward looking and who knows exactly what the, the future entails. But mm -hmm. how do you envision using your degree, say 10, 15, 20 years down the road? Mm -hmm in some kind of international setting or are there role models that you you're holding up is there is there something that you've got your eye on in terms of what your life will look like after this is all done mm -hmm. yeah i feel very very fortunate for the amount of travel i've been able to do and the different places i've seen and many of those were actually in a medical capacity and so i saw a lot of different medical settings in various countries which i'm really grateful for and they have shaped me for this trajectory that I'm on. My my goal for right now, I don't know what it will look like exactly, but my hope is to work in some type of underserved community um, 
probably out of the U.S. is my hope. I especially am drawn to refugees and the crises that they so often face and like the vast med the vast uh, refugee camps with no medical aid of any kind and no access to any medical aid. And so I don't know what it'll look like exactly, but probably something working with refugees and especially in a setting where there's little to no access of any kind. Um, I've just seen again and again these small medical problems that could have been so easily taken care of had there been just the most basic of medical care. And so that's what I want to address. That's what I want to be um, trying to help and to mitigate. You did some very, very interesting work in the summers that you had in between mm -hmm. the, the school year semesters. It would be great to hear just a little bit about what you did. I found it very inspiring to see the presentations that you gave mm -hmm. and and maybe to give people something to think about, about how you can be using summers mm -hmm. while you're a college student to further advance your, your long-term vision and dreams. Yeah. Yeah, I spent probably the most exciting summer it was a summer spent in Pakistan. I was at a women and babies hospital in Pakistan, and um, they do a lot of maternity care and deliveries and just ob gyne type care. And so I was able to work with a doctor there. Um, she's actually from the U.S. and has been there for several years and just shadow her um, for a while in the hospital and see these women, these brave, strong women um, who are there. Many of the people are underserved and um, have little to no access or would have trouble accessing care. And so the hospital provides a place that they can come and receive excellent care. And so I really enjoyed that. And I was able to do part of my capstone project with that hospital and the doctor there basically um, researching some of the very crazy like genetic conditions that we saw um, in the hospital. And then I didn't actually go, but then I also did a lot of work with a clinic in Bangladesh and helped to develop some protocols and standard of care for them, for the clinic. And they're in a refugee camp in Bangladesh, and so they're seeing a lot of patients. And so I worked with a nurse practitioner there to develop some standard of care and things like that with them. Um, so that was some really exciting work that I got to do, and both for both of them, um, but especially the work in Bangladesh, the work I did for the clinic in Bangladesh. I worked a lot with some of the faculty members here, and they were incredibly helpful for that, um, for that whole capstone project. That's great. Well, Joy, we are so proud of you and so excited about the next chapter in your life. I can't wait to see where God takes you. So congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you so much.